Hello again. This video will show you how you can use a Siri shortcut to collect all of your handwritten notes on your iPad and to convert them into text and append those entries into your Obsidian Vault. So this will be useful to you if you like using Obsidian, if you use iOS or iPad OS, uh, particularly with an Apple Pencil on your iPad with uh, taking notes and you're looking for a way of having a little bit of automation to be able to put your content into your Obsidian Vault. And um, it's gonna make most sense to you if you've either got some programming background and or are familiar with using Siri shortcuts, which I think is very powerful. So let's just show you how it works. If I open my notes app, I've created a few basic notes with my Apple Pencil. If I go back to my home screen, I've got a bookmark that is linked to a Siri shortcut that's going to um, add all of my handwritten notes to Obsidian. So if I just tap on it to run, it will convert them, it will grab them, and it has added those notes to that time log note within my demo vault. Okay, so it's done it twice because I just wanted to demonstrate that it does work. So let's move on and actually show you how you can actually create this for yourself. So if we open up um, Siri Shortcuts and we are going to create a new Siri Shortcut and I'm going to call this Quick Capture Obsidian. You can call this what you like. And the first action we're gonna have is Find Notes. So this will go through all of our notes within the native uh, app and we're going to create a filter because we don't want all of our notes. We only want our notes that have been captured that day. So I'm going to um, create a filter for creation date and it is for today. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a repeat with each loop. So within programming, you can have loops that run um, a block of code more than once. So we're going to go through all of the notes that um, meet that filter one by one. And now we're going to set up a text field, which is basically an area where we can <clears throat> configure, we can uh, put together items from uh, each note. So I'm gonna put in today's date. So if we go to repeat item, and if we uh, tap on it and we are going to change it from the body to the creation date, and I'm going to format it so that the date that we are capturing is ISO, which is year, month, date. Then I'm going to go back to text. I'm going to put space. I'm going to put the word at. And now I'm going to put a timestamp. So I'm going to put the repeat item again. I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to go to creation date. But rather than the actual date this time, I'm going to change the format to custom. And I'm going to modify it so it's just the time in the 24-hour clock by HHMM. And the final thing we're going to add to text is we're going to put repeat item. And we're just going to make sure that uh, this time it's note and the body for the note. So it's got three pieces of data which have been extracted from the note and they're going to be put into that text field. The next thing we want to do is we want to append that text value uh, we want to append it to a text file. So we're going to have it after. But we don't want to do it for all of them. We want to have a condition. We only want to do it once. Uh, we only want to do it the first time that we extract that note and run that series shortcut. So I'm going to put an if command after text. And I'm going to say if the text does not contain the word processed. So that's my tag that I'm going to create, which will tell the Siri shortcut that um, it's the first time that we are grabbing that particular note. So if we haven't done it before, I'm going to append it to um, my time log note. So we have to say where that time log note is. So we have to replace that and the file dialog will ask us to choose which um, folder in our iCloud drive that we are going to access. 
Um, you could get it to point uh, to a folder on your iPad if you are not syncing it to iCloud, but I'm using lots of devices. So I use um, the iCloud sync as my way of managing my Obsidian Vault between multiple devices. So I'm gonna choose my demo vault and then done. And then we put the name of our notes. So it's timelog.md. So that will take our, for each time that repeat loop runs, it's gonna take um, the current note, it's going to turn it into a text file, and then it's gonna append it at the end of the time log note. Next thing we're gonna do is we want to put a marker to say that we do not want that to happen again. So I'm going to use an append to note action. I'm gonna clear that variable. So I'm going to append processed. So it's like a, a tag just to let the, the shortcut know that's not gonna happen again. And it's going to be the repeat item, which is the current instance of the note, which is being looped through by the series shortcut. So this has done most of it. And now we want to do a couple more things. We basically want, as soon as we finished running that, we want to, um, we want to open up Obsidian in our time log vault. Sorry, we want to open our Obsidian vault in the time log note so we can see what has happened. So for this to happen, we need to use a URL command. So what that's gonna do is URLs are not just for web pages on iPads, but we can use certain apps will have um, parts of the app, like uh, parts of data will have their own URL and we can tell our iPad in Siri shortcuts or on our iPhone to open up a particular um, page or piece of data. So uh, I am going to go back to my Obsidian Vault and I'm going to go under more options. And again, I'm going to copy the Obsidian URL. I'm going to go back to my shortcut. So this is happening after our repeat loop. This is happening right at the end of our shortcut. I'm going to paste that Obsidian URL and then I'm going to open URL is the last one that we need. Um, sometimes it's a little bit fiddly. When we see the green plus, it means it's going to add it. And that's it. And now we want to create an icon that we can tap on, or if we've got a mouse, we can click on to run it. So it's a bit like an icon for opening up the app. The only main difference is that it's going to grab all of our recent notes from our native app. So we're going to add it to the home screen. Now, if we want to, we could create our own Obsidian icon using something like Procreate or a, another graphics tool like um, Affinity Designer, and you could make your own um, icon. I'm not gonna do, I've already downloaded an icon. I'm not going to go through my photo roll because I don't want to show it in this video. So I'm just gonna use the icon that's here. But if you wanted to, you could choose a photo and then you could turn that into an icon for this to run. Well, I'm just going to use the icon that is provided. And I'm going to add that to my home screen. So th this is quick capture of Obsidian. I'm going to drag and drop it into my main home screen here. And now I'm going to just test it and you're going to check that it works. So I'm going to go into the note app. I'm going to call that note six. So it's recognized that as note six. And if we go back to our home screen and if we run that shortcut, now normally often, sorry, the expected behavior is the first time that you run this, it will uh, ask you for permission. So we'll just check if it will do that for us. So allow quick capture obsidian to append one note to a text file. We always want to allow that. And we want, it's asking us now whether we want uh, the Siri shortcut to open the Obsidian app and we will allow that too. And if we go into the into our time log note, we will see that it has appended that content. Now I have made one error. If you can see my earlier example, I had this in heading three, so if I, preview mode that's already in a heading three so that's quite an easy fix 
So it's quite good to see that um, when you make these, you'll often notice there might be bugs, errors uh, that you need to tweak. So I'm going to go back to that series shortcut and I'm going to amend that text value. I'm going to amend it so I have got hashtag, 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 space. So that'll be a heading three. I'm going to go back. I'm going to run that again with note seven. You can see now it's been fixed. So there you have it. In this video, I showed you how it's perfectly possible to write handwritten notes on the native note app and then to run a shortcut that will batch them together and then to add them to a time log note within your Obsidian Vault. A use case for this would be that you've got your iPad and then as notes and ideas occur to you throughout the day, you scribble them down with your pencil and then later on you can open up uh, Obsidian, run this shortcut and they will appear as text for you to review and to get meaning from. Um, you're not necessarily limited to just one big time log note. Um, I can imagine that, that, that it's possible to create workflows where uh, these notes are appended to a daily note if you prefer working in that way or another way of organising your content within your Obsidian Vault. The beauty of these workflows is that they are very, very flexible and can be um, edited, amended or developed to suit your own particular needs. The next video I'm going to make is going to look at how you can use your Apple Watch to um, dictate notes and they will be appended to this time log note in a very, very similar way. That's it for today. If you like what you've seen, I welcome you to comment, like and subscribe. And the link to this shortcut will be in the show notes as well. So you are very welcome to make use of it. That's it for today. Bye now and see you next time.